We now know the name of a man who was found dead following a fire inside of a home in a Colorado Springs neighborhood. A lot of people saw the smoke near Platte and Circle. Late tonight, the coroner told us the person who died is 65 year old Walter Anderson. Firefighters say there were no smoke alarms in the sleeping areas of that home. CSFD also describes it as a hoarding situation, which increased the severity of the fire. Anderson's death is still under investigation. 11 minutes of nonstop news continues with this. Our 11 call for action team is continuing to look into Colorado's death certificate process in light of the return to nature funeral home investigation. 11 News reporter Melissa Henry found out funeral directors are entrusted with submitting most death certificate information, and she has this 11 call for action investigation. Some people, you know, they'll say, oh, it's just a body, and it's like, no, it's more than that. Michelle's husband, Ken, passed away in May. She used a return to nature funeral home because of its namesake, a natural approach to life's end. When did you initially start to have concerns about return to nature? I didn't have any. Not until I found out. Really? Yeah, I had no concerns. Until learning 189 bodies were found improperly kept at the business's Penrose building. Now she doubts whether or not this box contains her husband's ashes. Where is he? <laughs> if he's not here, where is he? We've been talking to a box. Colorado Health Department officials say funeral directors are responsible for submitting most death certificate information. The only exception is doctors submit medical details. Officials say an electronic system checks for mistakes. That leaves Michelle wondering, how does a death certificate dated this June list this crematory when that crematory tells 11 News it stopped working with Return to Nature last November? Are we all going to have to, like, go through this process with a different mortuary? You know, are we going to have to go through all the cremation again? Michelle told me how she'd feel if her husband is among the remains. Feelings of, like... Did you do the right thing? Um, did you say the right things at the time? You know, all the, the guilt things that come around with that. Uh, it's just not right. It's wrong. It's so wrong. For KKTV 11 News, I'm Melissa Henry. Investigators have said they will begin notifying affected families in the coming days. This is new at 10.